Yep, definitely cold outside right now, and it's only going to get colder tonight, as Ed said. Yeah, for people without a roof over their heads, the temperatures can be deadly. THV 11's Vanessa Page shows us how one local group is helping out. Craig Milley, so the director of the van says they've only had open three nights so far this year, and they're ready to take in as many people as they can. The van's executive director, Aaron Redden, has been working with volunteers all day. We spread them out in different rooms. Laying out blankets and mats. We have someone keeping watch all night to make sure that everyone's safe. He's hoping to provide shelter for anyone who needs it. It may not look like much, but it means a lot to those who would otherwise have to sleep outside. It's really just the most basic of accommodations, uh, just to get in and be warm. The shelter opens whenever the temperatures become unsafe. For many years here in uh, central Arkansas, we've been opening emergency shelters during inclement winter weather. Uh, we open if it's below 32 with precipitation or if it's dry with sustained temperatures below 25. They have a location at Levy Church of Christ and a location at their Little Rock office. The volunteers have been getting cots together and blankets and everything and same here we've got volunteers getting uh, mats ready, uh, uh, blankets ready. The best way to get inside is to call ahead of time. The Park Hill Christian Church and Second Baptist Church will be providing transportation to both locations. As of our last unsheltered count uh, across central Arkansas we found over uh, 500, almost 600 uh, people who were unsheltered. It's one of the few places that opens their doors for people in Little Rock. Just a lack of options for people to get inside. The shelter runs on volunteers and donations. Anyone wishing to help can visit itsthevan.org. You can send us a note if you want to help in the future. Uh, you can make a contribution there to help us keep the heat rolling and keep fuel in the buses. Staff at the Compassion Center in Little Rock State, they're also prepared to see an influx of people tonight.